everyone, my name is Niela and what music means to me, um, to be honest, it's quite a broad question, but I'm going to try and narrow it down for you guys. Um, so growing up, I, I grew up very introvert, very insecure. Um, I had a lot of issues like internally, emotionally, and I believe that it's gospel music that saved me as into it helped me you know experience god it helped me feel god even in the times when i was like super depressed and i literally didn't want to live on to like the next day when i was in my toughest darkest moments um music is the one thing that always lifted me out of that place and not just any music but gospel music and so i it means so much to me i connect to it in a like on a different level i always remember even when i'm singing every time i always remember where I'm coming from and how the journey started and how music basically saved my life. I grew up in a very musical family. My brothers play, um, my mom sings, my grandma sang. So we all used to sing in the house and play on anything that we could find. Or there was, it was a very musical household, a musical family. So we all used to sing together. But it was when I was uh, about 15 or 16, I was listening to a Kiera Shared album and I was singing along and then I was like, wait a minute. I'm singing along to Kiera Shear. Maybe I can sing better than I think I can. So I had this little phone. I recorded myself on the phone. I, I listened back to it and I was like, oh my God, I, did, I just, I didn't know. So I would say that I kind of discovered that I could sing better than I thought I could when I was about 15, 16. And from there I started to write songs. Um, I just started to explore because I was so fascinated by this thing that I, I didn't quite know I had. So music for me, I believe that music is so powerful. Music can make you angry, music can make you sad, music can make you happy, music can change your emotions. Literally in the moment of like worship or in the moment of a hype of music, you know, listening to a particular type of music, you can either do something really crazy or you could literally transform your life, give your life to Christ. Like it, music influences so much. It's such a powerful thing. And when it comes to myself and gospel music and the music that I write and put out and receive, I just want people to feel God in the music. I want literally the lyrics of the music to transform people. I don't want listen, people to just listen to the songs and just be like, oh my God, the voice is so nice. Or, oh my God, that's a nice song, a nice progression. But I want them to literally listen to the lyrics of the song, how it's coming together with the progression, with the instruments. I'm, I'm very particular. Some may say I'm a perfectionist. I don't think so. But yeah, so I'm very particular and I just want lots of people, especially young people, like to be touched by the music and to know that there's so much more in music. It's not just like listening to it and having a, a great time, but just to connect to God in the music. And so for the future, um, I have several projects coming out and I think I'm focusing more on lyrical content and that coming together with the structure of the song as a whole. And so I'm sure if you guys stay with me on this journey, you will see how it all unfolds. Growing up, I listened to so many different types of music. It was like literally from gospel rock to gospel country to gospel pop to... Um, and then like in my teenage years, it was like a whole bunch of secular music. I've listened to so much music, so many different types of genres. And I think when it comes to my music as well, I'm very, um, I like to add different sounds here and there of this or that, a bit of R&B, a little, little bit of uh, blue, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So I'm very like, I like to try new things kind of thing. And I do believe I was influenced by all the types of music that I listen to. So I literally have songs that are like worship songs and then songs that are like kind of mid-tempo, you know, R&B types. And then I have songs that are very like just unique sounds and things. And I guess as time, as time goes, all the different sounds will kind of unfold. And yeah, I was influenced by so much. I even listened to like Eldon Riku from Ghana, Daughters of Glorious Jesus, so much, literally so much. But I would say that Kiera Shared was the one person that I listen to quite a lot that kind of made me realize that I could sing the way I do. I'm not sure that I'm necessarily influenced by her, but I really do admire her, her and her talent. And that was, she also helped me to discover my talent. Hey, uh, this is Niela and keep mm, like, and like, and follow. Yeah. That, that's it. Yeah. That, 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 does that. that. If you want to add anything to make No, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> my name again. What is it? Hezed. Hezed Live, yeah. Like and follow Hezed Live. Ready? Okay. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Niela. Like and follow Hezed Live right now. God bless you. Oh.